Hello, my name is Arch Brooks and I'd like to welcome you to the Brooks Computing Systems Delphi XE source code generation tutorial. The Brooks Computing Systems Delphi XE source code generator produces all the source code that you would need to make a fully functional Windows 32-bit application. The Brooks Computing Systems Delphi XE source code generator allows the user to produce source code that does not support data, that has a single table, a single table with a RAVE report, a master detail data scenario, and also a master detail with the RAVE report. This source code generation utility also allows the user to generate a component as well as a component testing platform. Our first task would be to make a place uh, repository if you will for the new skeleton and so here we will create a new folder SK01 is skeleton01 that is for an application without data SK02, which is Skeleton02, is the application with one table. At this point, we want to make an application with uh, one table and a RAVE report support. So we would go ahead and make uh, SK03 uh, repository. And now we're ready to proceed with the uh, skeleton generation project. To go ahead and create our skeleton we would want to first click on uh, single table source code to generate and we do want a component and we have the component name and because this is a skeleton we want to use top form so it will make uh, the schedule changes that we need to make. It tells us that the target path is blank and then this dialog will appear to allow us to select the target and we'll do that. Whoops! We have the wrong target so we'll go back and get the correct one. We want to go to SK03 and generate our code. Now for an alias we want to click the single table selection complete. That brings this dialog available. We'll click on this alias and then we'll populate the table names Let's use this alias. The reason why we want to use this particular alias is because our code generator is set up to use these and we'll also take the defaults on the component. And we have successfully generated the source code that we need to create our new skeleton. We want to verify that that skeleton source code has been generated so we'll bring up the Windows Explorer and then double click on the SK03 and there's the project that we expect top form and then here is all the source code that you would need for that particular skeleton. Now we want to check to make sure that the code was generated OK, so we'll go ahead and open up that newly created skeleton project. And what we'll do is we'll run it to see if it gives us the results that we would expect. So far that looks good, and we'll run without debugging. And voila, 
there is our new skeleton. Now what we want to do is test our component. So we'll move back over to the package project, open it up, and we want to do an install of that particular package. Ah, and we see that that is complete. And now what we want to do is go back and test that newly installed component. And we'll save the changes. And we are there. And we'll run without debugging once again. And the application comes active. And we'll test the component. And sure enough, it works. We have successfully created a new skeleton based on a single data table and now what we need to do is go in and add the RAVE report functionality to that particular skeleton. Again this is Arch Brooks. You've been viewing the Delphi XE source code generation tutorial. Thank you for viewing.